Hi, and welcome back to Bedecked. I am Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. My original idea for today's episode was to shop for an outfit based on Hallmark Christmas movies, and then recommend a couple like um, holiday rom-coms for you, but I couldn't come up with any, I haven't read any new holiday rom-coms this year, and I think I mentioned a couple to last year. So then I'm like, well, I'll just do the Hallmark thing, throw a couple, you know, oldies but goodies in, and then call it a day. But then I saw a book I've been seeing on, on advertised for a while, Once Upon a December by Amy Reichert. And I'm like, I read the, the synopsis. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So this is Hallmark Christmas movie inspired fashion featuring Once Upon a December by Amy Reichert. The reason I wanted to feature Amy's book is she's a Wisconsin author, and I actually met her one time at her first book signing, I believe, I, I, for her debut novel, The Coincidence of Coconut Cake. And um, she signed it to Rebecca, eat more cake. <laughs> 2015, yeah, so, that's right, because I met her around the time I was writing or publishing my first book as well. And actually, she served coconut cupcakes at her signing. I believe it was held in the some public library, Oconomowoc maybe? I can't remember for sure. Maybe it was Sussex? Anyway, she served coconut cake, and up until that point, I thought I hated coconut, but there was shaved coconut on the top, and I tried it, and I'm like, uh, actually shaved coconut is amazing. So that might have been the day I started liking coconut. And then I got her next book, Luck, Love, and Lemon Pie, because it's adorable. I mean, look at that cover. It's so cute. And I also have her book, The Simplicity of Cider. So all of her books have a food theme, and you will find when you are reading these things that you will probably get hungry. <laughs> Uh, the one book I don't have of hers is a supper club book. I should probably pick that one up too. On this episode, before we get into the shopping, I have a themed cocktail, sort of. I spiked my coffee with Ballotin whiskey cream, chocolate cherry whiskey cream. Um, uh, in the book, the book is about a Christmas market that serves, a Christmas market bakery that serves Kringle. Uh, they specialize in Kringle. And at the beginning of the book, there it features cherry Kringle. So I went to the store in Wisconsin. You can pretty much find Kringle at any store, any store that sells food. So I went to the grocery store, picked up some cherry Kringle. So we have a signature, um, we have a themed dessert here too, or breakfast. I guess it's mostly breakfast. It's like a Danish. So I am pairing that with my afternoon coffee and a shot of chocolate cherry cream. And this is made in Pewaukee. This is made in Racine. Racine Kringles are huge around here. Um, actually, you know what's funny? I think I'm drinking Door County coffee right now. <laughs> so it's a Wisconsin themed episode, but the other reason I wanted to use her book as an inspiration today for our, to set the scene for our Hallmark movie outfits is because this weekend I'm going to a, I think it's a Christmas market in Chicago, some sort of a market. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put together a Hallmark Christmas movie themed outfit and go to the market and hopefully get a little footage there. We'll see. We'll see how crowded it is. But you will for sure see my shopping. So I go, I went to Target. I found some stuff for three different Hallmark movie scenes. We have, um, first we just have the casual, like the, what I wore shopping is like the casual setting the scene this is what this woman does, which is a casual, casual but cute and trendy outfit to establish the character. So I wanted to do a cozy sweater look. You know, they're always wearing really cozy sweaters and like cute boots and cute jeans. So that was the look number one. Look number one. I wanted to do a cozy PJ look, like if they're sitting around 
drinking coffee, like drinking hot chocolate by the fireplace, maybe looking through a photo album or doing some reminiscing, <laughs> then I wanted a cozy PJ look. And the third look, I wanted a party dress look, like at the end of the movie where there's always an event and they always have to dress up for this thing. I had mixed results with these outfits shopping at Target. Let's just say that. So let's get right into it. Actually, let me try this first. The cherries are a little weird with the coffee, but I'm not mad at it. I think it's better uh, by itself, but it's not bad. Oh, should I try the Kringle too? I mean, I knew this would be good. All right, so let's get into the shopping. Okay, so I am ready to go to Target. Um, this is my cool, casual, I guess, Hallmark movie heroine look. I went with a, um, a snowflake necklace to be on trend. And of course, some bouncy sausage curls and red lipstick and some cute jeans and boots. Every Hallmark movie heroine needs boots. So these, this is the outfit we're going to use to shop today. And of course, every Hallmark movie heroine must have a killer red jacket. I guess any color will do, but in this case, I have a bright red one. So that is what we're going with today. Now I am ready to shop. No, do they have, they have shorts? Do they have longs? Probably not. Oh, they do. <laughs> I spoke too soon. They do have longs, but that would be too big now. Probably. So I'll just grab a regular length. I'll just grab a regular length and get higher boots, I guess. That'll be fine. The U. Sure. I guess large is fine. I think they're supposed to be oversized, but I'm just going to grab a small. So I don't really want it to be oversized. This is a really nice red. Let's try that too. Picked over sideways wise. Not sure what I expected. Green would work. Hmm. 
Okay. Now we are to the party section. I don't want something New Year's Eve. -y. I want something really Christmassy. Not feeling that. Man, these sizes are picked over. All right, we gotta see what we can find for party dresses because I'm not I'm not seeing much. Sweater weather. It would have worked, but it's a small. Let's see if we can find that one in a bigger size. Extra large. It's going to be too big, but we may try it anyway. So, in case you're wondering, maybe you don't buy your party dress at Target right now because they don't have much. Eleven, sure, fine. Party shoe, party shoe. Ten. Pretty pants. Someone's not happy. Girl, we've all been there. So you're getting a voice over for this part of the video because the fitting room attendants were talking about the crying child most of the time. But I think this is the quintessential walking through a Christmassy town, walking through a lights display, and randomly busting into a Christmas carol outfit. The hat and the scarf. I just love it. Very Hallmark. This was the one of the first, this was the first sweater I tried for the um, sweater jeans and boots look. I really liked this sweater. Um, the jeans I liked. I really liked the wash. They were a little tight, especially in the waist, but um, I couldn't find a long length, so maybe being longer, um, would work out better, but they said they slimmed and sculpt, and that was actually, I think I did find that to be true. So I actually did go back and try these in a 12 the next day, and um, the 12 was a little big, oddly, so I'm not sure what size I would be. I did end up getting that green sweater, though. This red sweater I liked in theory. The color is nice, the cut is okay, it's a little more cropped than I prefer, but it's it's honestly kind of cute, but it was so staticky. I could not deal with how staticky this fabric was. So I definitely left this sweater behind. This is... Um, this sweater, I think, was supposed to fit oversized. I mean, I, I, obviously it was supposed to fit oversized because this is a small and it fit fine. So 
Um, not sure what that fluff was. Just a fluff. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I did end up getting this sweater too because I liked it. And it fit how I wanted it to, despite it being a small. So this was another cute cozy sweater look with the boots and the jeans. The, the boots were cute too, but they were a size too big and I don't need heeled boots. I'm good here. All right, so this is my cozy PJ curling up by the fireplace kind of look. I actually did not need this sweater, but gosh, it was so cute and cozy that I did end up buying it too. Um, the U... The U um, neckline tank top u-shaped tank top i really liked i ended up getting that in a like a kind of a brown caramely color um and the pants i pretty much have an identical pair of pants <laughs> to those from gymshark except these are waffle knit so i did not buy the pants oh my gosh this dress <laughs> was a disaster first of all i already predicted it would be too big um, because it was an extra large. The shoes were super cute though. I mean, I don't need or want them, but they were super cute and festive. So nothing, no complaints about the shoes, but the dress was not what I was going for. You don't normally see a belly cut out in a Hallmark movie. So even, even if it did fit, it was totally not what I'm going for, but the shoes were a win for sure. And then I completely forgot that I just didn't try on this vest, and I also didn't realize it was a men's. Goodfellow is a men's Target brand, so it fit like a men's and wasn't for me. Like, <laughs> it was cute though. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's an outdoor market too? Yes. You're ruining my life. <laughs> Okay, so we're in line for the German Christmas market in Chicago, Illinois. And I got my red hat on, my green scarf. So we are all Christmas up. As I said earlier, I had some mixed results finding these outfits at Target and 
but I got to take one of my purchases on an adventure to Chicago, so that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this um, shopping adventure we've had here today. Definitely check out Amy Reichert's book and check out all her other books too, for sure. They're all really cute. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Bedecked. Tune in next week for whatever topic or book I decide to deck out next. Bye. Oh, hi, this is my poochie poochie pooch. Like and subscribe. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is my channel. <laughs>